how to create subtitles fast. Hey everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to create subtitles for your videos. So let's say you have a video clip that you want to add subtitles to. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. I'm going to be showing you how to generate subtitles for your videos without having to manually transcribe them. I'm going to be showing you how to change the style of your subtitles. I'm also going to be showing you how to hard code the subtitles into your video MP4 file. And then I'm also going to be showing you how to download the subtitles as an SRT file so you can upload them as closed captions to platforms such as YouTube and Facebook. And just so you get an idea, the subtitles that you see appearing on the screen right now are also made the same way as I'm about to show you. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's gonna be in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, you wanna make sure you click on New Project. And then once you're in Veed's video editor, you need to upload your video. So if we click on Upload File, here we browse through our documents and upload the video file that we want to add subtitles to. So here I click on open and as we can see our video is now imported into Veed and we can see the progress of the upload in the top right. And just to show you it's a video, if I click on play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I now to add subtitles, it's very straightforward. We're gonna head over to the toolbar on the left and click on the subtitle tab. And within this subtitle tab, we have three options. We have the auto subtitle tool. We can manually add the subtitles and then upload our own SRT file. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we're gonna be using the automatic subtitle tool to automatically transcribe all of the audio from our video into text and turn that text into subtitles. So if I click on the auto subtitle tool, here we need to select the language that we're speaking in. In this video, I talk in English, but as you can see, you have hundreds of different languages that you can choose from. So once I've selected English, I then click on start, and then this process can take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video. As you can see, it's just finished, and the subtitles have appeared on the screen in three different places. First of all, we have the subtitle editor in the left, then we have them in the actual timeline, and then we have them on the actual video canvas. So now if I bring them back to the beginning and I click play, Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the Social Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alec, and in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable, grab your favorite drink, and let's get started. Perfect. So as you can see, our subtitles are now appearing on screen, and you might have noticed there was one mistake at the beginning. Instead of saying, hey everyone, it just says everyone. So to change this, it's very simple. To edit your subtitles in the subtitle editor on the left, all we have to do is click on the subtitle bubble that we want to edit, and then just start typing as if it was regular text. So here, instead of everyone, I'm just going to type, hey everyone. Perfect. Just like this. And now, Let's say I wanted to start at the beginning. As you can see, there's a little gap here where there's no subtitle at all. And if I click on play, hey everyone, I hope I say hey straight away. So there's a few different ways we can do this. I can place the playhead here and then I can go and click on the beginning stopwatch of the subtitle. As you can see, the start time for that subtitle will then be moved to where the playhead was. I can also just click and drag it directly within the timeline. Or if I want to be very precise, I can actually manually enter a time in on my keyboard. So if I want to make this zero, as you can see, that has now changed. If you feel like a specific subtitle is too long, what you can do, for an example, I'm gonna say I think this one is too long, is you can select this subtitle and then click on the split subtitle tool. And as you can see, that will be made into two separate subtitles. So instead of being one big one, it's now two separate ones. So if I click play, Alec, and in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable. Perfect, and as you can see, this last subtitle, the last word is cut off. So what I'm going to do in the subtitle editor is actually just select this, cut it, and then paste it into the previous one, and then I'm just gonna delete this subtitle, and then just drag this one out in the timeline. And that is how to add and edit the timings of your subtitles. Now, if we're hard coding these subtitles into our video, meaning they're always going to be visible on the video, so they're gonna be a part of the .mp4 video, we can change the style. To do this, it's very simple. We're gonna head over to the Style tab on the left subtitle editor, and here we have a bunch of presets, and if you don't like any of the presets, you can manually customize them. As you can see, if we click on the Advanced tab here, we can also adjust the letter spacing, the line height, we can change the style, we can add some drop shadow, change the color of the drop shadow, change the font size, so I can make them a bit smaller. I can change the layout and then I can also make them bold or italic and then we can also change the color. As you can see your subtitles are fully customizable and if you don't want them appearing on the bottom of the screen you can just click and drag them and move them around and you can also resize them just like this and then we can also rotate them. And as you can see if I edit one subtitle throughout the video they're all going to have the same style. So if I click play, hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media. Now, once you're happy with these subtitles on your video canvas and you want to download them hard coded into the video, 
All you have to do is click on the export button in the top right and Veed will start to render your video. However, if you don't want your subtitles hard coded into the video and you want to download them as a separate SRT file so you can upload them to platforms such as YouTube or Facebook. To do this, again, it's very simple, but before you export your video, you want to head into the options tab and in the options tab at the bottom, you can download them as a .srt file. And if I click on download.srt, as we can see, we now have a subtitle file that has been downloaded. And if I decide to show this in the folder, as you can see, we have our zip file. So if I decide to extract this file right here, as you can see, we have our SRT file. And just to show you that it has worked correctly, if I change the extension of an SRT file to a .txt file, I can then open it up. And as you can see, if I open it up just like this, we actually have all of the text and time codes for each and every one of our subtitles. So that means you can upload them as closed captions to YouTube and Facebook. And then like I mentioned earlier, if you want to download it as an MP4 file with the subtitles hard coded in, all you have to do is click on the export button in the top right Veed then starts to render your video and once it's finished rendering, you can download it with your new subtitles. And that is how to create subtitles for your videos fast using Veed. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, we really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.